All right. Um, so uh, for my project this week, uh, I worked on something I've called the Joule Chrome extension. Um, we've talked a little bit about um, the Lightning URI for payments, and it's a it's a pretty decent experience once you have an app installed um, and and mostly on on the phone. But um, Lightning is so much more than payments, in my opinion. Um, it it gives you kind of like a public uh, face to the internet. Um, it also allows you not only to make payments, but to request payments. Um, and a lot of those require a bi-directional relationship between uh, you and the service that you're talking to. And links only get you so far. So um, I've tried to adapt uh, what the Ethereum ecosystem knows as Web3 um, to the to Lightning nodes. Um, by having a, an extension that, that sort of lightning charges your browser so that um, pages can, can interact with you on a deeper level. So I'm going to try to get through the demo so that I can talk you know, more about what's, what's actually going on here. Uh, and of course, everything got really tiny, but that's okay. So um, in, this, in this window, we have um, a user who has not set up their extension yet, and I'm sorry, it is so small. Um, so let's get them started. Um, this user is going to run on a local node, so we'll automatically scan and see if it's running. It's running, so it's going to ask us for our macaroons. Um, I've changed this so that it asks you actually for two macaroons, uh, the admin one, which will allow you to do things such as uh, payments and, and pretty much everything else, carte blanche. Uh, but I also wanted a read-only macaroon around because having to, having to store a hot admin macaroon all the time is like really scary. So we want to encrypt that, but we also want to have some ability to interact with our node uh, even in the background. So the read-only macaroon stays unencrypted since it's pretty safe to have around. The admin one is encrypted. So let's go ahead and upload those. Um, we're running on SimNet right now. Uh, so we're going to upload the SimNet macaroons. And here's, here's my node. <laughs> it's a little ugly. Um, and we're going to create a password for encrypting that, um, that admin macaroon. Not a very good one, but hey, it's a demo. All right, so now uh, my node is connected to uh, Joule. So we can see my open channels right now. I have one open channel. Um, and we can see my past transactions over here. Um, and you can do pretty straightforward like wallet interface stuff. Um, you can d deposit Bitcoin onto it. Um, you can send straight up. With, uh, with a Bolt 11 request. Um, but that's just basic wallet stuff. Let's look at what actually interaction um, should look like for the future of Lightning. So uh, here we have um, a really annoying web page. It's got a lot of crappy ads. But um, they've detected that I have uh, what I'm calling a WebLN provider available. And so they've asked if they can start talking to us and so we can you know, have that deeper relationship with the website. So I'm going to go ahead and let them know um, what my, my alias is for my node and, and the color I've designated for my node and my node's public key. That's all they get straight up. They will be able to ask me to send payments, uh, generate invoices for them to pay me out, uh, or have me sign and verify messages so that we can, they can actually prove that I am who I say I am. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm. Now that they can talk to me, uh, you'll see at the bottom, they've asked me if I want to pay a Satoshi to remove ads. So if I click that button, we'll get another prompt. Uh, and we see here uh, a little confirmation modal. It tells me that if uh, they're asking for one Satoshi, the description is to remove ads for one day. Um, fortunately, I've got no fees. That's pretty dope. Um, and there's some extra details if you want to know uh, more about the request. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And it asks me for my password. We have to decrypt that admin Mac room. And boom, the ads are gone. Um, so that, that to me is how interaction with Lightning should work. You shouldn't have to you know, juggle wallets and, and change contexts. Um, your browser should like, speak this you know, new language of payments. Um, and you should be able to be the entire broker of your transaction, not having to like jump around other places. Um, so that was just a little testnet demo, um, but we're trying to get reckless here. So uh, we're going to go mainnet. This is not testnetyells.org. This is the real deal. So on, in this browser context, I've got my full node, or my, my real mainnet node. Um, 
I've got a channel open, should give me some, some liquidity. Uh, I've got my transactions over here. I've made a few today. Um, so let's go ahead. I already paid for the crypto memes, so I can't get more crypto memes. Um, ooh, Church of Satoshi, that's good. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty interested in this. I wanna know more. Um, so this web page is not uh, WebLN aware, so I'm gonna have to go through the, the more classic way of just copying a request, heading over to this, pasting it in. It goes ahead and fills in all that same information we had before, checks the node, checks our route before we get started. Um, if there wasn't a route available, it would let me know so that I could uh, open up a connection instead. Looks like we're gonna be paying 150 Satoshis for this. Um, still no fee, that's suspicious. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and get that. Sick. All right, we've got the full article. There you have it. That was a real main uh, mainnet transaction happening. Um, I wanted to do an even cooler demo, but I chickened out. Uh, but this morning, I bought my hack day uh, reckless pass using my very reckless extension. Um, so as far as I can tell, you know, this interaction it works. Um, now all we need to do is is uh, figure out this web LN spec. Um, so I, I really want to make this something that like multiple people can adopt. You know, if Zap wants to implement a browser or they want an extension, um, or you know, we, we see mobile apps that uh, provide this browser. So I, I want to like open the conversation to everybody. Um, Jewel is open sourced. Uh, it's you know rough around the edges right now, but uh, you should be able to get it started if you follow the instructions. Um, likewise, I've open sourced a library for WebLN to make it easy to integrate. So it's just a drop in. Um, function to request a provider. You get back this provider class that uh, comes with all these functions that should do this stuff for you. So you can get info about their node. You can ask for payment. Um, you can ask for an invoice. You can ask them to sign messages and you can prove to them a verify message which allows them to prove outside of your web context. If you, if you maybe want to have um, like a forum where users sign all of their comments with their public key. Um, I really think that the part that I wasn't able to demo here uh, I didn't build anything out, but I think is is really noteworthy. Is like, I like y'all's, but where 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 did this payment get recorded? How do they know who I am and that I have access to this? I paid for access to this, and if I lost my browser history, I would lose all of that. But with with something like Jewel, you walk around with this like identity that goes with you. So if I went to another browser and it saw that I was the same person who had paid for a Yells article because we do a little message signature to prove who I am, I should have access to all of those things again. So I wanna, I wanna replace identity from username and password to your node being your login, sort of your passport to like the lightning enabled internet. Um, so that's kind of my vision of the future. Uh, let me talk about some lessons that I learned while building Jewel. Um, so it took me a couple days to figure it out, but BTCD SimNet and running an LND node locally on SimNet is like the greatest thing in the world. You don't have to futz around with block times, uh, testnet faucets, any of that stuff, and it works, as far as I can tell, perfect feature parity, no crazy crashes or anything like that. So if you're gonna develop something with uh, Lightning, uh, use that combo. Um, Macaroons, while they are a UX nightmare, you saw me upload those, and before I uploaded those, I had to uh, SFTP from my server, my macaroons to my local machine to do so, you know, it's awful. No, nobody's actually going to do that. So you might be scared away from implementing them in your flow, but they're future proof. Macaroons are actually really awesome and I think the tooling around them is going to get better and better. We're going to get to a point where, where you'll have a username and password or something on your server to do a little handshake to, to generate macaroons for applications. So I would build with them today with the understanding that they're going to get better. Um, LND's REST API is, is awful. Um, I appreciate that it exists, but I almost feel like it shouldn't <laughs> because it is not taken care of at all. So uh, if possible, use gRPC. If not possible, still use gRPC. Set up a proxy or something. It's re really do not want to use that REST API. Um, I've filed issues for everything I found, though, so maybe it'll get better. Um, and the last note is that Lightning's dev tools aren't, aren't really great yet. Um, 
a lot of these problems that I described were kind of doubly compounded by the fact that the API comes back with totally untyped errors and you know, to spin up uh, multiple nodes and make channels with them, you have to do all of that manually and so you have like 20 console windows open where you're interacting with all of that. So the dev tools aren't great yet, but I bet you would make a lot of friends in this room if you wanted to make them better. You know, just hack, hack day project ideas. So would highly encourage that. Um, what's coming next for Joule? So like I said, I want to flesh out this WebLN idea with the community. Um, so the, the GitHub repo for it, the issues are probably mostly going to be discussions, not features and bug fixes. Um, because I don't want to build on this thing until everybody's on board with it. Um, I also want to make it, because not everyone's going to go out and get my extension uh, starting today, I want to make fallbacks for WebLN. So you could have potentially uh, an idea I've come up with is a, a, a React provider. And what this will do is when they don't have an extension, when the web page uses the exact same API uh, as it would with my extension, instead like a React modal will pop up with all the typical details of uh, what, you know, what goes on in a, in a transaction. So that you know, if you're, if you're uh, an app developer and you want to implement WebLN, you don't also have to like, screw over your users who are used to the typical you know, alt tab into a, uh, their wallet type of flow. Um, and I want to keep busting out features and improvements on Joule itself. Um, it's still a little rough around the edges. Um, I want to make it, you know, pretty standalone good of a client, even without WebLN considered. Um, so I'd really invite everyone to get involved. Um, like I said, they're open source. Um, and I really want to make this kind of flow the, the norm for Lightning rather than the exception. Uh, and a huge thanks to Chaincode for putting this together. This wouldn't have happened without you guys, John and James heart goes out. Um, the awesome lectures that we've had, uh, I, I can't believe how much information got crammed in my head in four days, but most of it stuck. And, and you guys stayed around even when it wasn't your day to give a talk or whatever, and you were extremely responsive, easy to bug. Uh, and fellow residents, you're dope. And thanks everybody for contributing on Lightning, who does that. Uh, John's pulling me out, so sorry I can't do questions, feel free to bug me. <laughs>